guys, welcome to a slightly different version of the French Girl's Guide to Food. We are changing things up a little bit today because as of tomorrow, which is Wednesday, December the 3rd, I am traveling to New Jersey. I'm leaving the West Coast for the month of December and I'm going to the East Coast and I will be there and I will be talking with some awesome friends and creating all these new videos for you, making a whole different French Girl's Guide to Food for the month of December, including some videos with my mom. So I'm really looking forward to traveling tomorrow. And so my kitchen is completely empty. I have no food, my pantry's empty. I've given all my extra wine to my girlfriend, Cassie. Thanks, Cassie. And so I have nothing in here. So I can't cook any recipes for you today, but because I'm traveling tomorrow, it's a perfect opportunity to help you stay healthy while you're traveling because we all do that during the holidays, right? Whether it's by car, train, plane, if for some reason we're taking a boat and going on a cruise, awesome. Um, there are multiple ways that we can sabotage our diets and our bodies when we travel. And particularly air travel, it gets challenging. You're tired, you're running around, you're changing altitudes at a fast rate. So your body's going through a lot of different crazy things it's not used to. So making sure that you eat the right foods will help you stay strong and ready to take on the rest of the day and travel as best as you possibly can. Travel tip number one. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I cannot stress it enough and this is why it's point number one. You must drink water, at least 64 ounces, which is the average eight, eight ounce glasses, and do that at least two days. If you can't do two days, the day before, you should be doing it every day, but make sure you have plenty of water the day before as well as the day of travel. And this is particularly for air travel. When you're in a car and in other areas where you're not really fluctuating altitudes and changing pressure, it's not nearly as intense of a need, but we still need to be hydrated every day. So make sure that you consume lots of water and limit on that soda. Soda is the worst thing for you no matter what. And with air travel, between all that sugar, the carbonation, it's messing up your insides even more than they already are. Stick to water as best you can. If you must have a little caffeine, coffee, tea, it's your safest bet. Travel tip number two, try to limit carbs. Trust me, carbs are my absolute favorite best friend in the world. I love my pasta, but when you're traveling on the day of, try to keep carbohydrates to a minimum. They will make you full and make you sleepy. Try to stick with dairy, protein, and lots and lots of veggies as best you can, and that will help you keep going. It'll keep you fresh, it'll keep you energized. Tip number three, limit sodium as much as possible. I know this sometimes can be challenging because we want something really quick to go when we have to catch our connecting flight, or the snacks that are available on the plane are potato chips and peanuts and things that have lots of salt in them. But if we keep those items to a minimum, it will reduce the bloating effects. And bloating is really what makes us feel the most uncomfortable on airplanes. The pressure alone will change that for you. It will give you a little bit more air in your body, causing some extra bloat. So salt and lots of sodium will just make it so much worse for you. So limit the fast food and the items that have quite a lot of sodium in them and you'll feel a ton better. Travel tip number four, stay as organized and plan ahead as much as possible. I think just about everything that I ever say or do will include some sort of planning ahead option. You really need to make sure you stay as organized as you can. Get to the airport early, make sure you print your boarding passes ahead of time. If you have to check luggage or check in a pet like I do this time, Make sure you arrive early enough so that you can get through security and get to your gate without having to run. Now granted, I'm a big runner, I love running, but I don't love running in airports. You have baggage, it's stressful, it just makes things so much more challenging. So keep the stress to a minimum by arriving early, planning ahead, making sure you pack everything that you need for your actual trip, when you're on the plane, and for your destination as well. For our last tip, tip number five, Make sure you get lots of sleep the day before your flight. I realize there are a lot of overnight flights and trips that make that challenging to get enough sleep, and even sleeping on the plane can be hard too. But you really wanna make sure that you get as much sleep as you can so you're not too tired the day of your trip. Being too tired will lead to excess stress, being late, running around, and then just feeling tired and lethargic for the rest of the day. And when you feel tired and lethargic, you start to make bad food choices. And then all of those things from tip one, two, and three, they just go right out the window. 
So make sure that you get as much rest as possible. Go to bed as early as you can, even if that means at two or three o'clock in the afternoon the day before because your flight is in the evening at 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Take a nap, rest, and make sure that you are ready to go for your flight. Thank you so much for watching our slightly unusual version of the French Girl's Guide to Food. Our videos moving forward will be in different locations and featuring some really awesome guests, including mom. And I can't wait to hear from all of you. I would love to hear some suggestions too. If you have questions for the holidays or if you need tips, help, recipes, let me know. Post a comment on Facebook at Facebook slash French Girl Guide or post a comment below in this video as well. I would love to hear from all of you. So stay tuned and I will be posting Instagram photos and Facebook pictures as well on the travel tomorrow since I'm traveling with my little Katie Marty and I will see you on the East Coast. Thanks for watching, safe travels to all, and à votre santé.